Well, again, number seven. Number seven says, find the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 15.71 yards. So the goal of this problem is we want to find the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 15.7 yards. So let's use this formula. So circumference has two formulas, 2 pi r or c is equal to d times pi. I'm going to elect to use the d times pi because we're looking for the diameter. So we have circumference. Both the formulas would work, but it would be smarter to use c equals uh, d times pi. So then we have 15.71 yards is equal to d times pi. And from here, I'm going to divide both sides by the value of pi. And for pi, I'm just going to use 3.14. 15.71 divided by 3.14. So we get a diameter of about 5. So 5 yards is equal to D. Okay? So we found the value of our diameter. So we found the answer for number 7. All right, and that's how you do number seven. Number eight. Number eight says, find the diameter of a circle with an area of 415.48 inches squared. So this one's a little different because what we have here is we're given a diameter. We're trying to find a diameter of a circle with an area of 415.48 inches squared. So the way this is going to work is that we have to kind of work backwards and double it. So diameter is equal to 2 times r. We know that. So we have to first work kind of backwards. And we have to find the radius to do that. And we're given the area formula of a circle. So you go to pi r squared. So we're going to find that value of r and plug her into here to find the diameter. And we have the area given. So this will be our first step. That will be our second. So we're going to input what we're given. 415.48 inches squared is equal to pi times r squared. From here, divide both sides by pi. We're going to cancel that. So right here, we have 415.48 divided by 3.14. We get about 132.4. is equal to, inches squared, is equal to r squared. From here, I'm going to keep all these decimals here so I get a little bit more of an exact answer. I'm going to square root both sides. And square root both sides. And you get 11.5 inches equals the radius. So right here, as you can follow our journey, we're trying to isolate it, and we eventually did. So now, we want to plug this 11.5 inches in to get what we got, or to get our diameter. So we get D is equal to 2 times 11.5 inches. Do 11.5 times 2. The diameter is roughly 23 inches. And so that's how you would do number eight. That's how you would do number eight.
last one to look at is number nine. So we're gonna focus down here. Find the radius of a circle with a circumference of 125.66 feet. So first, we're given a circle with a circumference of 125.66 feet. The radius they give us is what we're trying to find. So right here, we're trying to find the radius. We have two formulas, c is equal to 2 pi r, or you can use c is equal to d pi, diameter times the pi. We're looking for the radius, so this will be our ticket to freedom. All right, so we're going to use the circumference given, 125.66 feet is equal to 2 pi r for the value of pi. I'm going to round it to about 3.14, so this will be... Six point two eight. So we get right here, right away, one hundred twenty-five point sixty-six feet is equal to six point two eight times r. Divide both sides by six point two eight. You would get right here that we have roughly 20.0 feet is equal to the radius. So you can really get exact if you want, but based off our rounding, it's going to be about 20.0 feet for our radius. And that's how you would do number nine.